Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. A while back my husband Dave surprised me with a, a few things that he'd bought me from an online art store. A few of the items that he bought me were three mini watercolour pads that measured two and a half inches by three and three quarter inches. So they're quite small. And I was trying to think of what I could fill these little watercolour pads with because I thought they'd be really lovely if I had a theme running through them using the same media. So I decided to paint 10 mini gouache landscapes in this cold pressed pad that I'm painting in now and record them all as I went. One of the other mini watercolour pads that David bought me was a mini cotton watercolour pad but I'm keeping that for my watercolour paintings because watercolour works so lovely on cotton paper and it'd be worse to use it with gouache even though I know you can use gouache on cotton paper and it works really nicely but there's just something about using cotton paper with watercolours so I'm going to keep that for my watercolour paintings and I'll think of a, a theme for that as well. So there's 10 pages in this tiny pad, including the one that I'm painting here, which means I've got 10 gouache landscapes to share with you over the coming weeks. I've already finished all of the paintings and I'm now in the process of editing each video, which shouldn't take too long and I need to do a little voiceover on them as well. So this is the first gouache painting that I've done in a while. So I was quite rusty during painting this and a bit nervous too because I didn't want to mess the first page up. I found painting in this little pad really helpful. I really need to do a lot of gouache practice and painting on these pieces of paper was just the thing that I needed for some quick practice and to stop me getting too detailed like I sometimes do with larger paintings. With gouache, I've always had the kind of approach to a painting where I put thin colour washes down and then keep going over them until it looks right and continue and working around the paper and adding layers as I go. So I decided that with these little paintings, I'd try a different approach and I'd start at the top of the page, completing each area as much as I could before moving on to the next area. And I think I found it a lot more encouraging because the painting seemed to look finished in places and take shape more quickly. So it was a lot more encouraging and uh, it gave me more of a positive feel about it, seeing it being complete as I went, or kind of complete as I went, because sometimes like it wasn't complete, it was just I needed to add details at the end and things and do some touches up. But anyway, it was like mainly complete. So I'm going to have to try and explore different ways of putting down paint and play around more with different techniques whilst I'm practicing in the future. And I also need to work on um, like specific colour palettes and stick to um, certain colours for certain paintings rather than just using everything that's in my kit. Because I used to do that with watercolour. For some reason I've gone back to that with the gouache because with watercolour uh, I used to just use everything that I had but then I realised that planning out a colour palette ahead and just using certain colours was the best way for me to go and I was getting better results from it and then when I started using gouache I kind of went back to how I used to be with watercolours where uh, I just started using everything, all the colours that I had in one painting and then I started to realise that I really needed to stick to just a limited colour palette. So I've only just started to work on that. With these little um, watercolour paintings that I've done, I wasn't sticking to a limited colour palette, which I should have done. And you'll see me probably just using all sorts of colours in them. Um, but that's one thing that I do need to work on. And just different techniques and... I really enjoy using mixed media with gouache as well, like watercolour pencils or just normal coloured pencils and uh, the wax crayons that I use as well, the water soluble ones. With gouache I find that adding different media on top of the gouache after I've finished a painting kind of just gives some finishing touches to it. 
So anyway, I'll leave you to watch the rest of this little video and I hope you stick around to watch the rest of them in the coming days and weeks. So I'll see you all soon and thanks for watching. Bye!